Scientists at Idaho's nuclear laboratory are cooking up something that could be revolutionary. INL, pioneering a new type of reactor that aims to make nuclear energy more efficient and adaptable. And our Jude Binkley spoke with the INL about their molten chloride reactor experiment. Jude, tell us a little bit more about this project. Well, Brenda Joe, this project is testing a new type of reactor replacing traditional uranium fuel rods with a molten salt solution for fuel. Out in the sprawling East Idaho desert where sagebrush meets science, the Idaho National Lab stands as America's atomic kitchen, brewing energy solutions that could revolutionize power production. This is the birthplace of nuclear power, of our nuclear navy, of nuclear medicine, and we are we're coming back into that. Researchers at the INL have found a new recipe for power through their molten chloride reactor experiment, testing a new type of nuclear reactor using fuel that's made of a mix of uranium and two-thirds molten chloride salt. You heat it up and it flows around and you can pump it just like a liquid, just like water, through a pipe or a heat exchanger. Um, and that opens up some really interesting opportunities in reactor design space. McCree project manager Nick Smith says this type of reactor offers more versatility and can safely work in conditions where traditional reactors that rely on uranium fuel rods can't. This is a liquid system. The whole core, there is no fuel rod. With molten salt, it operates at atmospheric pressure, but it goes to much higher temperatures. So you're you're getting a better deal on your energy, on your heat, making more electricity per unit generated, but you also don't need this enormous thick vessel to contain everything. Smith says the liquid system design of the molten salt-fueled reactors could also run for longer than traditional reactors and put out less waste. With a machine like this, you would, you would just pull about a liter of fuel out and replace it with a liter of fresh fuel and let it keep running. On land, it's, you, know, you could site it without water for cooling because it goes to these higher temperatures. You can refuel online, so it should be cheaper to operate. Currently, scientists are working to make full-scale batches of the special fuel. We've had to scale this process up from you know, tiny, you know, small crucible to now we're making you know, 18 kilograms, you know, dozens of pounds of this stuff all at once. With the end goal of getting a demonstration reactor online on campus, which scientists will study and collect data from to see how viable the salt-powered fuel source is. And it really is just a, a success story for the lab because this is the largest fuel production effort INL has undertaken since the EBR2 reactor was fueled in the 1960s. And the INL expects this reactor to go online in 2028, and then Joe Brenda, it'll run for six months while they collect data. You know, this is a really fascinating science. It's just regular salt that they heat up to about 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit for this process that they're testing. Do not try this at home. Uh, it is interesting, though. I mean, there's so much work going on at INL with nuclear work, with salt. Mm -hmm. They do cybersecurity right in our backyard. It's an impressive campus uh, that... Every time we hear a new story from them, I'm <laughs> Always something cool surprised to hear. Yeah. Yeah. And I know you got a visit not too long ago. Yeah, it was, it's really cool out there in uh, East Idaho. It's, uh, it's a heck of a trip. Yeah. yeah, So many different facilities, so much going on, and they're always doing something cool. And, and we'll see what comes out of that data in six months then. Yeah, another thing we'll follow. Yeah. Where sagebrush meets science. All right, Jude Binkley, <laughs> thank you so much.